And now at 430, hundreds of paratransit drivers in Orange County are at this moment on strike. Yeah, they walked off the job just a short time ago. KCAL News Orange County reporter Michelle Geely is live in Irvine with the latest Michelle on the job action. That's right, you guys. You see these bus drivers behind me here. They set up this picket line just about an hour or so ago. They have officially now walked off the job. These drivers drive a special fleet of buses in Orange County that serve the disabled community and the elderly. Dozens of Orange County disabled clients left their adult day program before having lunch Wednesday as news broke that the bus drivers who transport them would go on strike at 4 p.m. A lot of our participants are in electric wheelchairs, which may not fit in a car, right? And so they have to have um, access to be able to go from home to yeah, movies, yeah. home to here, home to wherever they may go. And this is going to really affect them. And the families are scrambling to figure out what to do right now. Orange County Transportation Authority contracts with a third party company called TransDev to operate OC Access. Riders must call for reservations. Access serves people with disabilities, the elderly, and those who do not drive. Teamsters officials say 250 Access drivers plan to walk off the job because the company has proposed forced overtime and unpaid lunches lasting as long as two and a half hours. Sharon Schwartz has used access many times and says several disabled neighbors in her apartment building who are on fixed incomes use the service. So that's the other big thing. A lot of times people um, think, well, you could just use Uber or Lyft, but I mean, I don't make that much money. I wouldn't be able to do Uber or Lyft. I mean, so I can only imagine, you know, other people that are here that would be able to do that either. Those who work with the disabled community worry that the people who need the help most will be hurt by a bus strike that currently has no end date. Unfortunately, caregivers and ILS workers and other support staff can't always transport them due to liability insurance and other, other things. But we're also trying to promote their own independence. Being able to go grocery shopping, going to the movies, meeting friends, going to school. The driver's employer said this late today. First Transit is negotiating with the Teamsters 952 and remains hopeful that we will come to an amicable resolution soon with minimal disruption to the riding public. These bus drivers behind me here say they will be walking the picket line 24 7. Live in Irvine, I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Michelle.